Welcome a bit of shadow colour in there. So the cobalt blue and the cadmium red, quite dark. But I really want to show off. We always have a point in the painting that you really want to show off. And for me, it's where the light's catching that side here. So while that's still wet, I'll drop in some darker shadow colour. <coughs> Better. And then I can get my thumbnail and I can scratch out more. Shape. And another branch. Maybe a little bit more here. Oh, oh, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know this is on film forever, don't you? suggest a little bit more foliage <coughs> here then, actually. There's something there, I don't know what it is, but we'll try and leave a little gap. Bring that down. <coughs> I won't cover the whole thing. I'm not painting the kitchen wall. I want you to see some of the tone and the colour, sorry. It's coming through. So I'll do that, I'll fill it half with the shadow tone, but then I'll clean my brush and take the excess off and just add some water and, and even just to kind of suggest these lines that are running down. Just, I think it just makes it more interesting rather than blocking in the whole thing. And let that shadow run into what that. Are you Sorry? What are you I'm not going to do the roof, do I? Shadow tone now underneath here. I'm exaggerating that slightly. You have a roof on yours, George, if that's what you really want. Just a bit of shadow here. You don't need it, it's the white of the paint. If you're painting in acrylic, you're painting a light colour, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see a nice opportunity there to scratch into that. So I've got a negative and a positive. So the barn's much more interesting now, isn't it, than the one in the picture? And I think mm -hmm. the tree definitely uh, helps to show that off. I've got another kind of little shape here. What I'll do now is, the inside of the barn is quite dark, isn't it? So, with that in mind, I'll block it in with this shadow colour, and then I'll put the darks in later. Try and skim through those little posts. I'm my very best to leave those little white patches if I can. <coughs> I'll not get them all. But then again, do I want them all? Do I want an exact replica of what I see? I mean, the thing I love about watercolour is it does its own thing, and sometimes its own thing is really beautiful. So don't mess with it, and don't uh, fight it. Let's have a puddle on. Again, just trying to leave those edges if I can. I'll take that down into that four zone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it helps composition just because it's in the picture. I'm not sure whether they need it or put it in. Let's put a bit of blue from the sky into our puddle. Well, I was thinking <coughs> that. Would you, George? You're no, way no, ahead no. of me today. Uh, way ahead of me today. I mean, 
mean, you could try and reflect the barn shape, couldn't you? But let's not try and be too clever. Let's <coughs> just leave a little line here. <coughs> Put a bit of the glue in, clean the brush, and then pull it down. It's just a hint. Just a hint of a puddle. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to put a bit there as well. Let's extend it. Because here, I'm going to come in and out. I'm not too bothered if I don't get them exactly right. No, I haven't. Okay, so I've darkened the top. I'm definitely going to put a nice dark mark against that. Hello? Mm -hmm. In the right places, but then I'll take the excess off and I'll just soften it. So it kind of all, it almost helps to suggest that there are other things going on in that barn to take you back into the picture as well. So I can use my shadow mixture for that. So what I can do is maybe start to suggest a few marks here. Okay, start me off. <coughs> so this looks really dark by the way, and it is, but it will dry nicer. Okay, dark. I'll try and leave those little whites if I can, but if I don't, they'll become little stones and interesting little features in the foreground. That puzzle should stand out a lot more now with this shadow tone. Mm. Okay, then we get to this part here, which is grass, so it's got a more of a curve to it. You can flip out shapes as well that might suggest bits of grass. Then bring that across. Love that. Look at that lovely glaze that you get over the green. Oh, easily please. <laughs> easily please. See all these little bits? It looks bitty, but all these little bits here, all these little accidents, like these little white bits, when it's completely dry, I'll put some darks under those, and they'll just give them a bit of sparkle and just suggest the stone shape. Okay. I'll try and put some of those little stones in, even though it's still wet. A bit of burnt sienna and a bit of the blue. Okay, light's coming from the left. So I've kind of got happy accident. Third one. Third another. So go mad. I think what it does need is a bit more emphasis between the pathway and the grasses. So I'm just going to pop in a few more darts here. Not much. Soften them across. Keep talking to yourself. Tell yourself, don't overdo it. Yeah, I'm going to stop for a minute. I may come back to that and add more. If you're looking at the photograph, you're tempted to copy all that you see. And I obviously haven't. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't see the point. Uh, so it's about simplification and thinking about tone and shadow and lights and dark. That's the same thing, isn't it? <laughs>